Hey there, this is Anmesh from Pixel Perfect, and today we're gonna learn one of the most realistic ways to color black and white images, especially the skin in Photoshop, by using color palettes. Also, we'll learn how to literally paint in some areas with different colors to make the skin look more natural instead of having the same tone throughout. So, how do we make all these palettes and color changes? Well, there's a way, an interesting one. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are again in the mystical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, you know what to do, check the links in the description. So here we have a black and white image. Now before we go ahead and color him, here is the trick. You need to open a reference image with similar lighting which is colored. So I'm going to go to my finder and just drag and drop in this image. You don't have to worry about resolution, you don't have to worry about the quality, just make sure the colors are right and the lighting conditions are similar. Just drag and drop in into Photoshop over the canvas. Now you can adjust it. This is again just for reference. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in and maybe with the help of the lasso tool, click on this lasso tool right here, make a selection of just the skin. Now press Ctrl or Command J and delete the reference. So we just have this. Now we can create palettes. This is the second step. So select the brush tool. Now, before you choose, before you start sampling, make sure you're in the eyedropper tool and the sample size is five by five or something like three by three, not point sample. We don't want to sample from a mole or a noise or anything like that. We want the average color. So we will take five by five average. It will create a box of five by five pixels and take the average color and make sure sample all layers or current and below is selected. In this case, make sure it's all layers because we will need all layers later. Just zoom in quite a bit. Take the brush. You can take a soft brush, a hard round brush, anything you want. I'm just gonna take a hard round brush. The first thing we do is to look at the highlights, the brightest areas of the skin. So I think this area is a little bright. So I'll hold the Alt or option and click to take a sample and then just paint in over here, just like that. Now, take in the darkest area of the skin. So this, according to me, will be pretty dark. This, paint at the bottom, just like this. We are creating a palette. Take in a little bit of the mid-tones. Now, in the mid-tones, there's also red, there's also a little bit of yellowish tint. So I'm gonna take somewhere in the middle. You see, to have a realistic skin, it's also important you don't have the same tone throughout. Ha have a look at the original image, the real colored image. Look at this. Here we have red, here we have a patch of yellow, here we have a little bit of magenta. So it's important that there's a variety. We'll take a sample from here. For now, just let's keep it like that. I'll just paint over here, right? And maybe a little bit moderately dark area like this. We'll just paint right there. Something like that. So we have a palette, a relatively nice palette. So you can just Take the rectangular marquee tool to have some cleanliness. We can just select that area and then press Ctrl or Command J to kind of put it on its own layer and you can just delete it. This is just to keep things clean and I'm going to keep it at the side just like that. Okay, this is for sampling the colors. Now, it's time for us to color. It's always important you keep the palette all the way at the top because we don't want any adjustment layer to affect the palette. You can just double click on the right hand side and just name it skin color. All right, select the background layer. And now we will create a gradient map. Click on the adjustment line icon and choose gradient map. Now this is gonna be a special gradient map created with these colors, okay? So single click here and on the right hand side, we have the highlights. On the left hand side, we will have the shadows. So click on the right hand side single click on the color and then sample this color. Make sure it's all layers. Again, didn't I say you to select all layers in the beginning? It's gonna be helpful because if you choose current and below, you won't be able to select this because it is at the top of the gradient map. So make sure all layers is checked and this is the color that you need to click on. But it's not sampling anything, what's the issue? The issue is this. You need to click on this one, not the mask. The mask is all white, okay? Click on this one and then single click on that one. Then click on this, the right hand side and single click here, then it will take a sample. Just sample this, hit okay. For the left hand side, 
single click here single click on the color and click on the dark one okay you can also double click here it will also open up the same thing it's totally personal preference now create a point here click on in here single click on the color maybe i'll take this color see how gradually we are going click on in here single click here and take a sample of this color maybe on the extreme right what i'll do is i'll create one more and single click here and make it even brighter a little bit just like so something like this hit okay it looks nice now what we need to do let's collapse it let's zoom in i did something wrong all right let's zoom in and just adjust all of these sliders accordingly according to the skin so i guess we can take this a little bit to the right you see we are getting more and more details maybe we can take this to the right as well this one as well hit okay now change the blend mode from normal to color because we do we use this color this right so change it from normal to color just like so have a look it's looking so much more better now what you can do you can double click on it single click on it collapse it and now you can also play with this as much as you like so i'm going to take this one a little bit to the left like that okay this looks nice i'm going to hit okay that's fine now it's time for us to mask in just the skin select the mask press ctrl or command i take the brush make sure it's a soft round brush click on in here choose soft round brush and then start painting on the skin that's it zoom in make sure the flow and opacity are at 100 just start painting on the skin with white as the foreground color you can press x to toggle between the foreground and the background and just start painting now there's a step that you might have to do i'm going to tell that to you later to make the skin even more realistic at this point it's not looking realistic at all because we have not done that step yet now i'm doing very inaccurately you can take your time to do it as accurately as you want just painting Now this is a very rough painting on the skin, but as you can see, this is looking good. Now what happens is in real life, whenever there's a color on something, have a look at my skin. Okay, it's not very nice skin tone, but you get the idea. If you look at the dark areas of the skin, it doesn't have so much color. If you look at the bright areas of the skin, if you look at the highlights, it doesn't have much color, but the mid-tones will have a lot of color. So as you can see in this, in the dark areas as well, we have a lot of color. In the highlights as well, we have a lot of color. So what if we take away a little bit of color from the bright areas and the dark areas, from the highlights and the shadows? We can do that by using Blend If. Double click on the right hand side of the layer. This opens up the blending options of the Layer Styles dialog box. Now, take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. We are taking away the dark areas of the underlying layer, which is the layer of the person, the dark areas from the photo of the person away. We are hiding those areas in the current layer, which means we are hiding the colors in the dark areas. So if we take it to the right, see the colors are being hidden, but it's very harsh, right? Hold the Alt or Option, click on it and make it smoother like that. Now, as you can see, it will be much more realistic. You can do the same here as well. Hold the Alt or Option, click on this one and take it away from the highlights as well. It's making it much more realistic. Okay, that's all good. Maybe I'll go back to this one, take the brush and maybe I'll paint this area. This area is just not looking realistic. Maybe I need to revisit the blending options. Double click on the right hand side to open up the layer styles again and maybe we'll have to just go with that one. Hit okay. This is all good. And now it's time for us to revisit the gradient. Click on this one. Now maybe in the dark areas you want, maybe let's just play with the colors. Click on that one and let's play with brightness. What if we just decrease the brightness? How will it look? What about the saturation? What if we just decrease the saturation? It's great. Hit OK. Maybe let's take it a little to the left like that. And now let's play with this one. Click on the color. You can play with the hue, click on H and just let's make it a little more yellowish. It doesn't help, it just makes it a goblin. We don't want that. Okay, let's, this is nice. What about saturation? Let's try decreasing the saturation. Wow, 
it's more realistic. I like that. Now hit OK. I'm happy with this color. Click on this one. Single click on this one. Now you can play with hue saturation. Let's take it up and t try to take it down. I think this is fine. And let's play with saturation. If I decrease the saturation, it's too much decreased. This is fine. Let's play with brightness. This is a good value. That's all nice. That's all nice and good. Let's play with this one. Or what if I just simply delete it? You don't need that one. It's much more smooth the gradient that way. I think this is looking pretty realistic and nice. Now it's time for us to do a little bit of patchy things or painting things which will make the skin look more natural. We'll take care of the masks and everything. We'll refine it later. But first of all, let's take care of that one. So we will create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose hue saturation. Now we will select this color. Click on this hand tool and just pick on this color. As you can see, it shows up reds. What you can do, you can extend the range a little bit to make sure all of it is selected. And then just maybe take the hue to the left to make it a little reddish. Okay, this is fine. We increase the saturation too much and decrease the lightness. Increase the saturation just like this. We have added a lot of red. Now we only want to add it in some areas, the areas where the blood vessels are so much. So click on the mask, press Ctrl or Command I. Now you would take the brush, make sure it is a soft round brush with the flow somewhere around at 5 to 10 percent. I'm going to select maybe 5 percent. Just zoom in white as the foreground color. Paint on the areas which can be a little reddish like this area. I'm going to paint in here a little bit. You see, have a look at the difference. Here's the before, here's the after. Look at that difference. It's much more realistic that way. You can also set the flow to somewhere around 10%. Just here and there, just to keep things random and nice. Maybe a little bit over there in the cheek, maybe here in the ears. Ears can be a little red sometimes. Not all the time. This is fine. Now have a look at the difference. Here's the before, here's the after. Look how realistic that looks right now. So I'm doing it very quickly at this moment. You can take your time to do it as precisely as you want. You can just paint red on every wrinkle like that. This is all good. Now let's go back to the gradient map and there are some other areas which we need to paint. For example, this neck. So select that and we'll take the brush and just paint on that area. Increase the flow to about 100 and just paint. Maybe we'll need a little bit red over there. Select this one and decrease the flow to somewhere around 10% and just paint a little red over there. All right, this is looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll just take away a little more. All right, great. Now I know this is not accurate. We are painting over the shirt. We're gonna take care of all of that later. Don't worry about that. Now it's time for us to color some other areas. Now, except for the skin, other areas can have the same tone throughout. Of course, it's artificial, it's painted, unlike the skin, which is powered by blood, the red in there. Okay, so here's what we do. We create a hue saturation adjustment layer and we will use colorize to color these things. Now for the hat, we can choose a green color, click on colorize, and maybe we'll choose something, or blue is fine too. So this blue looks nice. Increase the saturation a little bit. Lightness is fine the way it was. Maybe this is great. Click on the mask, press Ctrl or Command I. Just take the brush and just paint with white. Not a big deal. Again, I'm careless about the masks. I've painted a little extra. Press X to switch it to black. All right, I know there's color leaking on the left hand side. Let's zoom in and paint in black there. All right, now let's increase the flow and just paint a little more color. In these areas. Now let's do the shirt. So for the shirt it's not big of a deal. Create one more hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on colorize. Maybe you want the shirt a little blue too, light blue. So you can increase the saturation if you want. Maybe just decrease the lightness a touch. Don't go extremes with lightness in the master settings or especially when you're just clicking on colorize. This blue is nice. Select the mask, control or command I, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white and just simply paint on that area. 
Now, as I can see, the saturation seems to be a little too much. Maybe let's decrease the saturation. Yes, that looks to be realistic. Now, all you need to do is to refine the mask. And before we do that, let's just go ahead and color the eyes as well. Create one more hue saturation adjustment layer. And you can choose color wise or you can go the skin color method as well. It's totally upon you. There's not so much details in the eyes, so we'll just simply color wise it. So maybe we'll add a little blue eyes. Okay, select the mask control or command I and then just add a little color over there. And keep in mind, we can always change the color later. Okay, there we go. Let's zoom out and have a look. The colors are looking very nice. You can increase the saturation if you want, but not so much. This is fine. Maybe you want to change the color. Let's take it a little to the right. And it's looking very, very nice. Now I know that we have just painted a little extra over the white areas, which we shouldn't have. Again, all we need to do right now is just refining the mask. Let's go back to the skin, the gradient map that we did, select the brush, foreground color white, and then just simply refine the mask. It's not difficult. Maybe let's take the flow to 5% and then just paint in these areas. Once you do refine the skin, then you have to refine the shirt that you painted, and then you have to refine maybe the hat, so on and so forth. Just go forward, just take your time. Maybe here, as you can see, there's a skin which is underneath all of this. So you need to paint with a lower flow. So you go to the mask, you paint with flow 5%, maybe you just go a little bit inside of it. See, it makes a difference. So you can take your time to do this and I'm going to show you the final result. Just paint a little bit over there, maybe a little over here. And you get the idea. So I took the time to just refine the mask and here, as you can see, is the final result. So this is the before and this is the after. That's all you need to do. So that's how to use color palettes to get it to look very, very realistic. Just a tiny recap before you do anything open up a reference image and from that reference image we will create a palette sample the brightest areas of the skin sample the darkest areas of the skin and create a palette you can have as many colors in the palette as you want just make sure it goes from light to dark also keep in mind that the reference that you choose should be in similar lighting conditions once that is done you can create a gradient map with that palette and once you do that change the blend mode to color and on top of this you can create a hue saturation adjustment layer make it a little red and paint on some dark areas of the skin or some other patchy areas of the skin where you want to introduce the red to make it look realistic after that for some inanimate objects with similar skin tone throughout you can simply add a hue saturation adjustment layer check color wise and add any color anywhere you want just go forward with it and you'll be good. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pixel Perfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.